Welcome to Blackest Widow Tarot. I'm your girl. I'm your host, Nadia. And this is a reading for, of course, you, Capricorn. So get in here and get this message, boo. All right, let's get into it. Yahweh, I come to you in prayer as that you open up my third eye for my lovely Capricorns. Expose everything to me so that I can expose everything to them. Also, any energies or any entities that may be trying to harm me or throw up this reading, send them back to where they belong. Ashe. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. Love and light, abundance, and protection. All right, Capricorn, let's get into it. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing somebody getting drunk today. Probably happy hour right off of, right on your break at work or when you get off of work. I just, all I got to say is I understand it's been a hard fucking week, okay? And let's get into it. Expect um, an air sign to hit you up or, you know, contact you or something like that very soon. Tell me more. But this person is already in a relationship with somebody. So you're honestly being protected from this person. Okay? And they probably live with this person or got them living with them. But no, the reason why they're hitting you up and texting you is because, you know, this person still has feelings for you. And I feel like they haven't got closure. And that's what they really need. But this person is honestly struggling. So, if you're thinking about giving this person another chance and thinking that, okay, you can deal with this person, first of all, they got a person already. And they're struggling. And I won't be surprised if the person that they got living with them probably got a baby on the way. So, don't give nothing from the past another try. Yeah. Let's make this quick, though. Let's make this quick. I got somewhere to be. I got somewhere to be. And I really feel like when it came to this air sign, I just feel like the timing wasn't right for y'all. It, it, it comes down to basically right person, wrong time. And I really feel like you was the right person and it was just the wrong time. I don't really feel like this person is somebody that is really worth anything to me. I don't really feel it. Like, what was the reason why you all broke up? It was probably because of finances. It was probably because this person was stagnant. It was probably because this person was a personal hater. And they were weird. They gave off, like, somebody who probably even had a fetish for you. <laughs> but this person does miss you. And they do wish that they can come back and just feel the warmth that you give. Because I honestly feel like in the relationship that they're in right now, yeah, it may be okay. But are they truly happy? No. No. Current love for my Capricorns. Current love for my Capricorns. I heard you pushed me away. This air sign feel like you pushed them away, and that's where they gotta stay. <laughs> Current love for my Capricorns. Current love for Capricorns. Let's see. Okay. <sighs> Y'all, if you're in a current relationship right now, I feel like this person is meant to be with meant to be with you for the long haul but i feel like it's just it's lacking passion it's lacking communication and if you all do not work on that aspect of the relationship y'all gonna end up separating i feel like this person is very very like immature kind of childish i feel like they got some growing to do and it's because their family spoiled them but other than that you can trust this person so stay optimistic about your love life you just got to get the love, get the passion back and the communication back on track. Okay. Capricorns, for the my singles, give me some love messages for my Capricorn singles. Give me some love messages for my Capricorn singles. My Capricorn singles. Capricorn, if you're single right now, you're happy. You're, you're living single. Okay. I don't blame you, girl. I don't blame you, sir. I feel like you're single. You're getting to know new people. And you're just waiting on that one to come. You're waiting on somebody who you can just finally just fall into. Just not have to work so hard. Not have to be so hard. Just you want a soft life. Even if you are a male or a female. You want somebody who soothes a way to stress. Soothes a way just the, the everyday nu nuances of life. You want somebody that you can call your teammate, your helpmate, not your child. Not just a lover. You want a lover and a friend, a partner in crime. And until you get that, you're going to continue to search. You're going to continue to work on yourself. And I feel like Capricorn at this time, you're just going with the flow. You're not trying to control the outcome of things. And that's the best way to be. Hmm. 
But don't worry though, Capricorn. You're going to need some money. It's just not going to be right now. I feel like also when it comes to the advice, your, your mother, auntie, sister, they hating on you, baby, from afar. They don't like the fact that you're gifted and that you're going pretty far in life. <laughs> Sad, I know. Give me some more advice for Capricorn. Give me some more advice for Capricorn, y'all. I just really feel like that's what the advice is. Also, be careful of people trying to come back into your life and just mooch off of you, use you, or basically try to basically deter you from your path, deter you from your goals, just deter you. Yeah. Ooh, hold on. <coughs> Confirmation. Your family, as well as people from your past, they see that you are actually living a life that you said that you was going to live, and they hate you for that. <laughs> That's sad. That's really weird. <laughs> Instead of hating on you, they should get like you. Mm. Give me some tea for Capricorn. Give me some tea for Capricorn. Give me some tea for Capricorn. Now, y'all, when it comes to somebody whose name may start with a G or last name may start with a G, your name may start with a G, either way it go, what I'm picking up is this person may be very bad with money. I feel like this is his air sign. This person is, like I said, living with that person that they're with currently, okay? So when this person tries to come back around, do not accept them. Mm -mm. You're not second choice. Even if you was first choice, this person got too much going on. Uh-uh. Mm -mm. I got a whole house, a whole apartment, a whole life with somebody else, but they're trying to sneak back to you. Mm -mm. Plus, you trigger this person's demons. So what does that mean? They're a demon. You're not supposed to be with them. If your light irritates a person that you're with, it's because you're not supposed to be with them, boo. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Now, let's see how your money gonna be. Give me some angel messages for Capricorn. What is that money gonna be looking like? What is Capricorn's money gonna be looking like? Whoa. Hold up. Drop it. Okay. What is Capricorn's money gonna be looking like? It's time for you to do some reflection, Capricorn, all right, as well as follow your heart. Just know that you are in alignment to be, be, to be able to attract and manifest. So right now, I would say start asking for stuff. Start asking the universe for the things that you want. But don't just ask. Also put in effort behind going after it. And watch how you get everything you want in life. And watch how everybody that's already mad going to be madder with that mad ass. <laughs> So continue to stay positive, continue to stand in your power, and continue to what? Wake up every day and strive. Keep doing what you're doing, because you're doing something. <laughs> you're about to go through another death and a rebirth, so just know that people are going to be exiting your life as well as coming back into your life, but it's always going to be a lesson. It's always going to be a test. Pass it, Capricorn. You got to pass it, all right? Also, you need to do... I feel like some of you all need to... Take a little time, take today, you know, and find yourself. Go within yourself and grind yourself. Also, start working more on your spiritual abilities, okay? Because people love to try to pull the wool over your eyes when really that third eye always open. Hmm. If you're going through some emotional turmoil within your current relationship that I was telling you about, in order to stop that, you're going to have to work on the passion, the sex life, the communication, okay? The listening, listening instead of reacting, okay? Know that you're about to go through a bunch of growth and change. So this is going to be a very transformative time in your life, okay? You're going to feel like everything is being, everything is falling down, but really everything is trying to reveal for you. Now let's get you a takeaway message. All right, understand that it's time to work on your spiritual gifts. Your gifts are going to get you somewhere, Capricorn. Your gifts are the reason why you're able to see when people are not for you and the reason why you are who you are today. Anyway, Capricorn, I'm sorry that the reading had to be so short, but y'all, I got stuff to do. But I love y'all so much. And if y'all want to find me on social media or get me on a phone call for a personal reading, y'all know where to find me. I love y'all. Bye.